Good morning, guys. It's very early in the morning. As you can see, it's 5.38. I'm unloading my canner. I gave it all night to cool down. And as you can see in the bottom here, I hardly had any waste in the bottom of the canner, despite the fact that I was canning. Oh, well, let's see. What is it? 14, oh, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 jars, pint-sized jars of chicken broth. And I'm sad to say that toward the bottom of the batch, um, they got a little more garlicky. I thought I had <laughs> strained out most of the garlic and the black pepper, but apparently it has gone through my strainer. I was trying to find some of them so you could see what I was talking about, but... Now I'm having a hard time finding any. But anyway, um, I think the reason why I did not have so much waste in this particular batch and why my headspace is pretty much spot on is because I took it up to temperature a lot slower. Um, I had gotten home from running around and I didn't have any place to be or anything to do. Um, I had, you know, pretty much the whole afternoon slash evening to uh, can these so um, I took it up to temperature pretty slowly plus I didn't want any of the jars to bust because I was I had reheated my broth and I didn't want to have the water in my canner hotter disproportionate to the water that was inside the cans does that make sense um, so I didn't want the pressure to be so unequal and the temperature to be so unequal that my jars broke. So I brought it up to temperature very slowly, um, and I hardly had any waste with this particular batch. My, my canner is not full of, um, juicy goodness like it was when I did my quart size jars, and I wished I had realized that before. Um, I think that's what happened. Um, and I used the mason jar rings in the bottom of the canner because I only have one of these little bad boys. Um, the, uh, I don't know what this thing is called. The flat plate thing with the holes in it. <laughs> it's a technical term. Um, but if you guys know where I can buy another one of these, you please let me know because I really need another one so I can do pint size jars. Um, but I tried this whole, uh, ring thing on the bottom of the pressure cooker and it worked out so um in lieu of not having another one of these i guess i'll use the ring thing but i'd rather have one of the plate things because i noticed my jars did tend to rattle around a little bit in here while they were cooking um and fortunately that i did not have any breakage it doesn't look like whatsoever so I canned those up last night. I let them sit in the canner all night long while I slept in bed. And when I got up this morning to let the dog go to the bathroom, who wakes me up at 5 o'clock in the morning, um, I went ahead and took the vent, the weight, off so any additional venting could occur. And then I um, went ahead and started opening the lid so that any additional pressure or heat could escape um and i let that sit there for another 20 or 30 minutes after i took the lid off so that you know the heat could could get out of there and then i took my special weird shaped tongs as the kids call them and <laughs> i removed the jars and i've got them sitting over here to the side which means um i won't have as much washing and scrubbing to do on my jars um, because I don't have as much waste so I'm hoping um, if I can do that again in the future because this stuff is so precious I mean you work so hard on it why well, have most of it you know a bunch of it end up in the bottom of your canner your pressure cooker um, so in the future I think I'm gonna do this when I have like all day to let it come up to temperature you know what I mean and let it get just right where it needs to be so that I can uh, not have any waste or anything like that, you know, don't have to be at church the next morning or anything like that, um, because that seems to have worked out the best for me, uh, 
and you guys let me know if I'm mistaken and if there's some other reason why I don't have any hardly any waste on this batch and I did have on the first batch um, let me know what your thoughts are on it because I'd like to know if there's something else that I might have done um, how this batch didn't waste as much as the last batch did because I worked really hard on that chicken soup <laughs> And I hated to see so much of it end up in the bottom of the pot of the pressure cooker. Um, because I wasn't going to eat that. It was, you know. I mean, I guess if you were in desperate times, you could. But, um, I don't know. It had the water that had been boiled and stuff in it. And I was kind of like, eh, I'm not going to eat that. So, I just dumped it out. But, um, I suppose if we were desperate, we could eat it. But anyways, y'all let me know what your thoughts are on that, and um, y'all have a, a good week.